Hope for Lovelies of the World is a Me Queen Nightmare. And I am going to do another fan fiction reading today. There is no shout outs today. And I'm going to believe that I should do them at the end of the video. I am so hyper right now because I <laughs> I sadly did a, <laughs> a really bad ASMR. And please go check that out and give me some thoughts, I guess. Because, man, did stuff go down. I'm getting a drink right now because... <laughs> what I ate was spicy chicken <laughs> and some crunchy uh, crab, crab ragoon, actually. I had Chinese. And if you like Chinese food and you love ASMR, then try that. <laughs> I am going to read it right now. <sighs> they said the next morning, Septimus woke up that morning in the arms of his newly bonded mate. Who was holding him tight around his waist from behind? He was so comfortable and didn't want to move, uh, but his bladder had to betray him, unfortunately. Babe, please let me go, Septimus whispered quietly at his sleeping boyfriend beside him. Go back to sleep, Draco told him, pulling him closer. I need to, to, to go to the toilet. Drake, please, he pleaded to his newly bonded. Fine. Draco turned over, uh, away from him while pouting. Septimus got out of the bed, chuckling, knowing he was going to have to make it up to his mate. Later, when he came back into the bedroom, after releasing himself, he knew, he saw... Draco in the same position facing away from him. Septimus smirked at himself, knowing exactly what he was going to do to make it up to him, to his bonded. Small smut. Scroll past it if you don't want to read this. A lot of embarrassing marks. That was the uh, note from the author. Septimus went to the end of the bed and crawled under the covers to where Draco's legs were, trying to not wake his bonded up, slid his underwear past his legs, and fully off, and fully, then fully took them off. Sorry, I have like a little bubble in my chest cavity. I think I got it. He then proceeded to suck his boyfriend off, waking him, him up, to wake him up. And, uh, in parentheses, the author says, Don't really want to explain it. Haven't done this in a long time. LOL. Unquote. Draco woke up abruptly in pleasure, not knowing where it came from. Looking down, and almost came right then and there, the slight of his, sight of his beautiful bonded sucking his cock was almost too much for him he was looking he lo <laughs> so he looked up back up back up to at the ceiling and came septimus swallowed the load in his in his mouth and crawled up to draco's face and kissed him lightly before laying down and cuddling at him <laughs> note from the author again smut over with <laughs> unquote do you forgive me now? Septimus asked, quietly saying, laying on top of Draco while Draco wrapped his arms around him, his thin waist, his arm ar arms around his thin waist. Sorry, can't read, even though I'm going back to school tomorrow. I'm sad. What for? Draco asked, still in a bit of, a bit of, bit of, eh, still a bit, or disoriented. Sorry. Reading really bad. I am very, very sorry. <laughs> Let me start the whole sentence over. What for? Draco asked, still a bit disoriented. Still coming down from his high. Waking you up, he told her. Told him. Oh, I wasn't mad, Draco explains. So you're telling me I didn't need you... <laughs> So you're telling me I didn't need to suck you off? Septimus told him. No, no, you're fine. 
Draco was making Septimus laugh. Well, we are going to get up soon, Septimus told Draco, checking the time, seeing they only had 30 minutes to get ready for breakfast. I know, but I don't want to. I want to stay here with you forever, not have and not have to deal with all the stupid, incompetent people in the school. I need to talk to Father so we could get up and go now so we can stop at Father's office before breakfast, Septimus told him. Okay, let's go down, Draco told him, before of <laughs> both of them getting out of bed to get ready. And an ad plays. You have got to be kidding me. I'm sorry. I People. I am so sorry about this. This stupid thing. Continuing on, dot, dot, dot. That's literally what it says. <laughs> Not from me. Draco and I head down to the common room. Heading to the Great Hall for breakfast. I'm hungry, I whined to Draco, pulling him faster down the hall to the food. I could smell the food from here, and it was making me angry how slow Draco was walking. Calm down. You'll get there soon enough. I thought you wanted to speak to your father this morning. Screw that. I want some food, I yell, running down the hall faster, bumping into all the fig, uh, fig, uh, figure and falling on my bum. Ow! I whined, shaking my head and standing up to see my father staring down at me. Stop running like a child, Septimus. You're not acting like how I would have raised you. He sneered down at me. Well, I'm, well, sorry, I'm hungry, I claim, com, claim, complained to him. You, you do realize that the first task for the wizard, Triwizard Tournament is in a week's time. You need to be prepared. How do I prepare? Uh, sorry, let me reread that. How do I prepare? I asked nervously, food for, forgotten, totally forgetting about the deadly tournament. I'm going to be having to compete in f in a week. Stop worrying, Sev. Stop worrying him, Sev. He's going to, to be all stressed out. Draco scolds him, coming over and hugging me from behind. Well, he should worry. If he doesn't prepare, he would have to have dire consequences. Father looked down at me with worried eyes. I just want you to be okay and safe to be safe you will to be safe you will be you will have to prepare for the tasks okay i asked i asked he asked i nodded father turns and walks down the to his office in the dungeons i was so busy focusing on you our bond i totally forgot about the tournament oh i whine Trying to change the subject to keep me from worrying much, Draco asks, How about that food? That has me pulling his arm again, dragging him down the great hall. I know you may be thinking, Septimus, you're a vampire. Why do you want food? Well, I get hungry too. I don't, I just need va uh, blood once. Every once in a while. That's why I'm in the Great Hall shoving food down my pie hole. Calm down, love. No one wants you to choke, Draco warns me. I'm fine. Let me be. I insist eating more food till I'm interrupted by ice cream getting shoved all up, all over my head. Ugh! I whine from the cold, sticky substance. I wipe my eyes with a napkin. To see what happened. I see Ron with his gang of pigs standing in front of me and Draco standing up beside me, his wand pointed at them. Father was standing up 
from where he was and sat in he was set next to Dumbledore, the whole table of Slytherin sneering up at Ron. Do you not know when to stop? Draco asks incred incredulously. He deserves it, the fag. <laughs> In quotes, uh, the the author interrupts this conversation and says, "Sorry for the language. If if it tr triggers you, yeah." If you watch my content, I hope nothing, none of it triggers you. If it does, please let me know because I really want to know. This is not the author speaking, it's me. Please let me know if anything triggers you. I would love to like um, find something that is less like this, but it's up to you. Let me repeat the sentence. I'm really sorry, but... He deserves it. The fag. I gasped, appalled. Everyone knows in the wizarding world it is not weird to, for a guy and a guy or a girl and a girl to be together. Even Merlin was married to a man. Everyone praised him. The whole great hall gasped. Even Ron's gang of pigs looked at Ron like he was crazy. Father swooped in before Draco snapped. Excuse me, boys. You may go to the Dumbledore's office and earn your punishment for from home. You better be thankful you're not in my house. Otherwise, you would be so expelled. He sneered at them. Ron hurried away, looking like he was about to shit himself. I look over at Draco. At, at Draco, and it's all in his eyes, turning yellow like it it usually does when he's about to turn i quickly grab his hand and rush them uh, rush him out of the great hall then when draco eventually calms down we head to the library to research and study up on the triwizard tournament before heading to bed hoping the de next day won't be as eventful as this one I'm fa- uh, task one. I'm fa- uh, blah, 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 blah. Morning. Uh, morning of the first task. I rolled my eyes, now facing Draco, my eyes wandering over every detail of his face. While thinking of the first task, I know it will be hard. I mean, I have to face dragons! I found out from father. He told me the other day when he went into the forest, and saw them there. I was so distracted in my thoughts, I didn't notice Draco waking up, opening his eyes, staring at me with a worry. Sep, what's wrong? He says, startle startling me in my thoughts. Nothing. Just thinking about the first task. I sighed. <sighs> Nothing. Just thinking about the first task. I sigh. Knowing I, I'm not going to do well. I've ne never fought a dragon before, or even seen one. I've, you'll be fine, Sep. If anyone could do it, it's you. He stated confidently. But now it's time to eat. He told me, pulling me out of bed, so we could get dressed. On our way to the great hall, I start feeling nauseous. I ripped. I ripped my hand out of Draco's and ran straight to the boys' restroom. Draco comes running in and seeing me on the on my knees in front of the toilet. He comes over and moves my hair out of the way, rubbing my back, waiting for for me to get f finished. Hey, are you good? Let's go get Sev. Draco states. States when I I've calmed down. No. I'm probably just having a stomach bug. I wave off, suddenly feeling a little, a lot better. Okay, he states, still looking at me with worry. I grab his hand and drag him down the hall, the great hall, again, reminding him of food and, and stopping his worrying. When we enter the great hall, we get stopped by the gang of pigs. 
You guys are freaks. A vampire and a werewolf could could end up killing us all. Or even worse, tainting us with your nasty creature blood. Ron states in disgust sneer down at us. Shut up, Weasley. At least you don't have filthy muggle loving blood. Draco sneered, trying to defend us. Hermione comes up next to Ron, grabbing his hand, taking him out, uh, taking out a attention to her. You guys are creatures, even below Muggle, she states, not looking at the mud blood comment, not liking the mud blood comment. Out of the corner of his eye, Ron sees Snape, standing. And making his way there over. So before he came, he quickly took out his wand and cast a mild light torture curse on at Septimus. Septimus, not expecting that sudden attack, feel, fell to the ground, twitching. After a couple of seconds of severe pain, Draco knocks the wand out of Ron's hand bending back to what happened to his love. Severus now saw what was ha what has happened and rushed to his son and scooping him up, scooping him up in his arms, carrying him to Madame Pomf Pom Pomfrey. My gosh. <laughs> Even the author's like, I can't spell. And I'm like, no, it's no wonder. Uh, it's not that you can't spell, I can't read. <laughs> and with an angry Draco on his heels. Oh no! Is that it? <gasps> no! Oh my gosh, guys. That was the end of the chapter? What happened to Septimus? That was already 14 parts? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I am weird. I, I didn't think I read that much. Wow. Guys. We read all of it. I am so excited that you guys actually stood with me all the way. If you have a fan fiction you want me to read on Wattpad, or anywhere you want me to read it, please leave it in the comments below and tell me what it is or what pairing you want to hear next. I will look up the best pairing I can get for you guys. I love you guys so much. You are absolutely wonderful people. I love you so much. Bye. And wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. If Every time I give a shout out, don't give hate. Just give them a little bit of love. Always. And subscribe. Give my subscribe button a little love as well. I love you guys so much. I will see you next time. Maybe I'll do another uh, SMR. Ugh. <laughs> Sorry. That was loud. Um, I love you guys so much.